So having made all the changes to our database and being very happy with the changes that we've made, we don't want to lose those because the next change that we're going to make is slightly fiddly and I don't want you to lose all the work that you've done so far. So with the database closed, uh, so you can't do this with the database open, I'm just going to copy this database and then obviously, oh, oh that should be called backup. There's my backup folder uh, with the previous database in. So then I'm going to paste my finished database and I'm basically going to um, copy and replace the file. So that's what I want to do. So it's replaced the file with my original file. So I won't work on that one. Let me just correct the naming of folders because that I find that really annoying when people just call things backup or or uh, call things folder or doc or things like that. Okay, so let's go into our database and do the primary key. So this is about the hardest thing you'll do in databases, but it's good to put everything that we've done so far into practice. So this is combining a lot of the things that we've done and just learning a couple of new things. So let's just have a look at my table here. And there's my ID field, so that's the one we're going to change. And in my description again, this is the description which is given to you on a, usually on a separate sheet when you do your controlled assessment. And I have copied that here for convenience because it's just easier to work from this than it is to have uh, keep opening the sheet. So here it says that it's a primary key with the format DES followed by three unique numbers. Okay, so let's just make sure I understand what that means. So it's every, everyone has DES in front of it and it's got 001. Uh, so it's got followed by three numbers and it's unique. So none of, the, none of the three numbers are the same. Or actually, if you take the whole thing together, they won't be, you won't find one which is the same for any other record. So DES001 is unique for uh, Beach Leisure Center and you won't have this ID being used for any of the other uh, destinations. Even if we add any more, um, that's what we're going to set up the design of our data to be so it doesn't allow any kind of duplicates like that to happen. So let's have a look at the first thing. So it's uh, three letters followed by three numbers. So obviously the first thing to change is just have that as six. That's a very straightforward one to change. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the idea of an input mask. Now this looks harder than it is but it actually this version of access makes it so much easier than any of the other versions so here's my input mask um, it's a it's a letters followed by three numbers the closest I'm going to come to that is the postcode um, uh, field you know input mask and so there's no point in me telling you what an input mask is you might as well just see what it looks like in practice so for the postcode, it's letter, letter, zero, zero stands for number, number, and then a space, and then a zero, and then a letter, letter. Well, I don't really want that. I want uh, three numbers and three letters. So it's letter, letter, zero, zero for three numbers. That's what I need. But even better is those letters that I've got. Oh, I should have three zeros here. These letters that I've got, these actually, I know what letters they are. They're going to be D-E-S, short for destination. And then I've got followed by three numbers. So that's how I've written it. In double quotes, I've put what it's going to start with. And then there is no space between it. And then it's followed by zero, zero, zero. And then in the try it field here, oh, look, it tells me it's already given me D-E-S. So I then have to type in three numbers and it's happy with that and it's happy with that and it doesn't let me delete the DES which is great that's exactly how I want it so again I'm setting up the database to be straightforward to use I'm just going to go to next it then gives me an option and says 
Do you want the symbols in the mask? So do you want it to say D, E, S followed by the let, uh, numbers? Or do you just want to have the numbers on their own? Well, I definitely want the D, E, S written in front. So I then say next and finish. So it's written this funny thing here in the input mask bit. Well, that's fine. Let me see what it's actually done to my data. Well, I won't be able to see what it's done to my data unless I go all the way down to the very last uh, empty record and try and add a new record. So now when I try and add a new record, it's already written the DES in and I can type in the next number for my record. It obviously can't be 92, so 94 will be okay to have. And so that's that's what it's done to, done to it, which is just fantastic. Um, and it doesn't let me do anything more than those three numbers. So this is validating my data using an input mask. Now, I don't actually want this record here. And so I'm going to just highlight it and delete it because this is an empty record. And it says you're going to delete an empty record. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Let's go back to my design. So all I've implemented in the design is the format, which is DES followed by three unique numbers. What I haven't done is this bit here, the primary key. Now the primary key will force it to be the uh, the it will force it to be uh, unique. That's what setting it as a primary key does. And I've just had to move this down a bit so you can see where I set it as a primary key. So I've clicked in my field here, the ID field. I make that into a primary key. It puts a little key next to it. And what does that actually do with the data? That's what we really want to know. What change has that affected? So I say yes to this. And again, I won't be able to see the change until I go all the way. Well, I could see the change here. I could actually try and change this to 96 and, and uh, see what happens. And that as soon as I click away from the record, it says that you can't make that change because you would have duplicate values. And this is a primary key. And it kind of goes on and on about it. So I have to say OK. And now whatever I do, I won't be able to click out of that until I make sure that this field is unique. So this is a really great way of making sure that human beings don't make errors in typing data because we know that actually typing mistakes are really easy to do. So for example, if I, if I tried, if I was uh, tired of typing and I typed in the same primary key here and you know added a record called Richmond Park because that's uh, one of the leisure activities that could we could go into the as soon as I click away from there it says that I can't do anything with that record because my primary key is the same let's see whether I can delete it I can't even delete the record it keeps giving me the same error I can't click anywhere else so the only thing I can do is come back to my key here and this confuses a lot of people the only thing you can do is come back to the key change it and now I can actually delete this record so there we go. After this, uh, well, I've just shown you how to add records. The other thing that you'll be asked to do is find some uh, data which uh, is blank and make changes to that in your cab. But in terms of everything you need to know about the design view and the different types of fields that you can have and why you change the data to, to that, you should have uh, been able to pick that up from these videos and in the next one we'll look at editing the data and um, adding some records which is just very straightforward after setting it up.